Hey Sky Fam, what up? It's your boy Sheriff Crazy, and today we're gonna be looking at uh we're gonna be looking at an article written on Forbes website that I just, you know, want to mix it up, try something different. Let's check out a little bit of sky news here. And uh I wanted to share this with you, and I want to give you my personal takes on what's going on with this article and what what it means to me and I think what it maybe mean to like the greater Skylander community. So the title of this is with Skylanders Imaginators hitting $375 on Nintendo Switch. It's time for a Skylanders remastered. It's written by Andy Robertson. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description. I'll give you an overview, but you can read it yourself. It's not a very long read. So basically what he says is during lockdown, he and his kids were playing Skylanders. They're having a great time. So he decides, hey, I'll get another game. I'll get Imaginators and I'll get it for the Switch. Well, he goes to buy the game and he realizes it's really expensive and he's just like, gosh, what's what's going on? Um, then he says, you know, they should remake the Skylanders games. Why aren't they doing this? It was fun. I had a good time with my kids, uh, you know, and I enjoy it myself. That's what he ends up saying. He makes the case that, hey, they make remakes for Crash and they made remakes for Spyro. Why can't they do that for Skylanders? Which is fair. And so that's the gist of the article. It's not very long. It's like a few paragraphs, honestly, a little blurb. Um, I do have a couple of criticisms of it, and I'm going to get those out of the way or I have one. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> he picks the most expensive game that you could possibly pick for Skylanders, like <laughs> out of every version for every console, he picks the most expensive one and then checks it out on <laughs> on Amazon like the most expensive place and he picks the like the new listing for it, which is which is fine. It's expensive. Like, let's be honest, a used copy of it is like in the in the hundred dollar area, you know, maybe with the case, maybe without the case. Um, but I wanted to get to to my takeaways from this from this article. Um, the first one is people are interested in Skylanders like this isn't something that like, this isn't really niche. Like, I think, at, you know, the Skylanders community is pretty small. You know, it's mostly young people like myself. Nobody believes that. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's not like it's not very culturally relevant because I think it, people are so young. Like, nobody really knows how much they like it or remember it yet, if that makes sense. Anyways, next. Forbes is a pretty big media outlet. Yeah, this is a short kind of like one off thing, but what you know, it's big. People are going to read this, you know, it's not like the biggest hot news article, but people are going to go through there and be like, yeah, you know, what happened to Skylanders? Like, we, you know, that was pretty fun. It's expensive, but they had a good time and it was fun for the kids and all that good stuff. The the third takeaway, I think, is it's exposing how expensive Skylanders has gotten in in the market lately. You know, there hasn't been an article that said, hey, you know, this is expensive. Like, what's going on with this? Like, there's something behind this. And I'll, you know, I'll go ahead and share like some of my experience with that stuff. I've collected video games for a long time. You can see kind of like what's going on there. And there would be articles that would come out like, oh, I mean, you can even see it today where it's like, oh, so and so game sold for two hundred thousand dollars is this game in your attic or basement and then people you know people read this stuff and they're like wow video games are expensive like they're valuable let's go check what i got like this is almost like maybe like the first glimpse of that for skylanders where there's gonna be a few people who are like dang that game is expensive i have that are the skylanders also valuable and how valuable are they that's going to be a big part of this as well um you know i've speculated that you know skylanders are going to gain in value and i really think that's true i'm you know i don't think there's a lot you can do about it they're already really expensive you know yeah that's my takeaways on that that's my thoughts on that i thought i'd do something a little different i usually don't do things like this i usually have very scripted things cat what are you doing <laughs> you know or do the let's play stuff. Anyways, uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Did you get a different takeaway? Do you agree? Do you disagree with me? You know, uh, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. That's always greatly appreciated. You know, got to get that 
YouTube algorithm on our side. And uh, thank you guys so much for uh, checking this video out. We'll catch you next video. Bye.